Is that woman here in this courtroom, Mr. Gleason? I believe that's her right there. Let the record show that Mr. Gleason pointed to the defendant, Andrea Tobias. Thank you, Mr. Gleason. No further questions. I believe that's her right there. Those are your exact words, Mr. Gleason. I believe that's her. What exactly do you mean by that? Well, he, he asked me who I thought it was, and I said I thought it was this woman right here. So you, you think it was her? Yes, ma'am. But you don't know. Well, like I told the police, if it wasn't her, it was sure somebody who looked like her. Oh, really? Objection. Counsel is badgering the witness. Overruled. So the woman you saw was either the defendant or someone who looks like the defendant, which, according to your description, is someone around 30 or 40 with dark hair and a long coat. 30, 40, dark hair and long coat? That's right. That's all, Mr. Gleason. And the scarf. Excuse me? She was wearing a red scarf. I don't recall you mentioning anything about a scarf before. Well, nobody asked me. Was she wearing it around her neck or over her head? She was wearing it up over her head, like a church bonnet. Mr. Gleason, this is the scarf I wore to work today. Then this was the view of the woman's face that allowed you to positively identify her as Mr. Tobias from a stairwell of some 40 feet away. Yes, ma'am. No further questions. Your Honor, Judge Pollen on one. John. Hi, what can I do for you? Gwen, I need your feedback on something. I just found out who's getting your bench after you move to the state court. Really? Who's that? Teresa Lewis. From what I hear, it sounds like she's putting on a real show in there. Yes, she certainly is. So you don't have a problem with my giving her an endorsement? No, that's fine. Very well, then. Thanks, Gwen. What are you doing, Gwen? I had a headache. So tell me, Mr. Walcott, at what angle were the blows to the victim inflicted? Approximately 70 degrees which led us to believe that the assailant was several inches shorter than the victim, who stood five foot 11. Several inches shorter. Let the record show that the defendant is exactly five foot six inches tall. No further questions, Your Honor. Court will recess until one o'clock Monday. Stacy. Stacy, this message from the guy at Michigan, did he say what it was regarding? Uh, no. Uh, something about an article you had written for a college poetry journal?
Library. Yes, Lee Walters, please. Speaking. Yes, Lee Walters, please. Speaking. Yes, this is Judge Warwick, returning your call. Oh, yes. Uh, I was calling because I managed to locate another copy of the 75 Poetry Journal. That's if you're still looking for copies of your old articles. My old articles? In addition to the one I gave your assistant when he was here. The one on Alexander Pope. When was this? Uh, last June, according to my sheet. He said you wanted them for a collection or something. What did he look like? Oh, I don't know, uh, 25 or so, dark hair. Do you still want me to send them? No. No, that won't be necessary. This guy, what's his name? Oh, I don't Did remember. Did he tell you his name? Uh, Alex. Alex something. He, he said he was a clerk for Judge McGowan. And you only saw him this once? Uh, yes. You haven't seen him since? Uh, no. Did you put him apart? No. We were at Malone's across the street. And then we came here. Did he ask questions about me? I don't know. Thanks, Stacy. What did drinking. you talk about? What did you talk about? Did you talk about Charles Mayron? Did he ask about Mayron and me? About the rumors? He might have. Thanks, Stacy. Did you tell him about the rumors? I don't normally gossip. <laughs> Lieutenant, it's Judge Warwick. I need you to get somebody to the corner of Cass and Howard right away. There's a warehouse building on the corner on the second floor. Damn it, Lieutenant, help me out here. I'll explain when I get there. What's this all about? I'm sorry, I made a mistake. Shell forth from the bottom. 